Hey guys, so today I wanted to show you uh, a Broadlink uh, RM Pro universal remote device. So a quick unboxing and first impressions video. So let's see what's in the back in the box. So uh, let's get started. Uh, and in the box we got some uh, paper instructions how to basically set the device up. Next, we have the remote unit itself. Okay, there it is, Broadlink remote. Some protective film, and it looks like this. Quite, quite a small, uh, quite a small device. Next, we have some micro USB cable and a normal charging rig. So basically, I guess this works with uh, any micro USB charger like you have for your phone. What else? Oh, and we get some mounting screws, so this can be mounted somewhere on the wall or whatever you like. Okay, so now let's connect this thing and basically see how it works. So without further ado, well, the cable is quite long. So, yeah, let's, let's get it connected. Let's get some power. And let's connect the device itself. There we go. Ah, it started blinking. So I guess it's booting up. And now I think it's uh, time to pair it up with the uh, light outlet itself. I have this Broadlink, um, Broadlink uh, light switch. So hopefully it will be used to switch on this thing in my room. So let's let's check if it actually works. Okay, so you have basically two choices for uh, application to control your Broadlink hub. Uh, you have the Broadlink e-control application and Intelligent Home Center. Uh, I went with Broadlink e-control app, uh, and in the later video I will be showing you how to extract the hex codes for uh, those switches I showed you previously. So uh, basically this, this video is made uh, with the e Broadlink control app. So just switch on the application uh, and you will be prompted for your Wi-Fi password. Uh, to be honest, I don't know if the, uh, if the five uh, gigahertz networks are uh, supported, but so I went with the 2G. Uh, and uh, when this is done, it, it, it takes uh, like a minute or less uh, and your device will be uh, added and then you will have an option to add uh, peripherals for the uh, hub you just added. Okay, so press the, the plus icon on the top right side and press add remote. There you have a list of your accessories. Uh, I will be selecting the light switch Broadlink and then selecting the TC2 version with one gang variant. And then you have this, uh, this wizard that basically guides you throughout the whole process. So just press next, hold the button for uh, about five seconds on your switch. So it starts blinking and press configure. So after that, you get a, a confirmation window or basically a question window that asks if the light stopped blinking for me it, it did and when pressing yes then you were presented with the remote basically and everything was working fine 
no problems at all uh, in the whole process. And of course you have options to rename your switches, you have options to change icons, no problem with that. So uh, basically that's it for the application configuration, uh, the switch works fine. And now a short demonstration, so this is my phone with uh, basically a few seconds after I configured uh, everything. So the top lamp is controlled by that switch, so I'm pressing off and like a second passes and the light is off as you see. And when you press on, you see a, an orange light lights up on the Broadlink uh, hub and it basically sends the radio signal to the switch. And now a little sneak peek of what's coming uh, in the movie where I show you how to configure it with Siri. Hey Siri! Switch on kitchen! Done! Okay, so thank you for today. Uh, please like, share and subscribe.